all just attack me. That's not too bad. Just go for a tremor. Try to cancel you. You know it doesn't really matter. Here goes my impact bomb. If a boss team sucks, just put one of the Sonic Frontiers boss teams in silly more hype fight. Yeah, yeah. I can see that. I can understand that. Music you can, you know, it's 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 weird. You don't have a you don't have to meet a super high threshold of, like, best soundtrack ever because, you know, there are ways around it. But, I mean, if you're if you're playing a game with, like, voice acting, then you know you want the music to be good because you want the... You want to hear, like, everything else in the game, I guess. With games, like, that don't have voice acting, you could remedy that problem, though. Beast King Smash! <laughs> You're almost dead. Now burn to a crisp. I wish that hit the other eyeball. Ten say can slash. Is one of you gonna do it? Standing by. Delta burst. It's gonna use delta burst on Merrick. But Merrick has like all of his HP. Kill you, you can't use it though, right? Is that how that works? Oh, close. Merrick will not die from this. He has like all of his HP. Yeah, only does 300 as well. It's not too much. I start getting these eyes like one by one. You know, I have you heal here. Actually, depending on what they're doing. You're gonna hit Rowan. Rowan has all of his HP. So again, now we, we can just have you attack. Go flying Tensaken on this one. <laughs> all they're doing is attacking and occasionally using Delta Burst. You can heal yourself. Sky, take flight! I don't think I played the game with bad music. I can't think of one. Flying, ten say the worst I can say about the soundtrack is that it was nothing special. Come, oh life <laughs> Unlike Dirge of Cerberus, its soundtrack was just there. Beast it didn't have like a single good track in it. Uh. Hmm. Thank you. Nice. Stop making that sound. Ten say can slash. But yeah, also sad as opposed to sad and happy music, yeah, it heavily depends on like, you know. Stuff there's tracks that I'm like, oh yeah, you know, this really fits the cutscene I'm playing or whatever. I really I do care about music. But at the same time, you can there's a bit of room for, like, not as... You don't have to be spectacular with it. Just give me a soundtrack that's pleasing to listen to. Go! With games with my great stories and stuff. And I'm set for life. I do really care about music. When music is done really well, I appreciate it. Like in Persona or the Grandia games have great music. Or even Live Alive, which probably has, like, my favorite soundtrack of all time. Die. Alright, singular eyeball. There's really not much you can do here. Golden Hammer! Crash! Like you're all on your lonesome. Ten say can slash! Yeah. 
Here goes my impact bomb. I wish the audio sliders were in game instead of like at the launcher menu because I would absolutely lower the sound effect. I got a skill with this. Nice. 900 SC and MC. Pretty good. 200 experience and 500 gold. Pretty hot. Oh, the game just closed. <laughs> That's annoying. You know what? While I have to open the game anyway, let me um edit the sound effects really quick. Yeah, it's at 60. Let's lower it to like 45. I hope this isn't a Trails in the Sky issue where it's just always going to crash here. I hope this was just very unlucky. I will lion's roll with Merrick though to do more damage. Oh, I really hope I just got unlucky. I really hope it was just bad luck that I got that crash. Alright, this time we're gonna hard focus one, which is what I should have done prior. We're gonna zap. Ten say can slash. You know what? I don't think I need lines. Well, Beast King smashed it a lot. You're getting canceled. Here goes my impact bomb. Here goes my impact bomb. Wow, Ten Rito went before Merrick there. Slash. Even though Merrick got staggered, I thought he was gonna like get a chance to attack. Beast King Smash! Alright, nice. Throwing surely you could finish off this eye bat. Tensei can slash! You don't want to use Delta Burst, but what's the worst it could possibly do? Come Burrito. Have a heal ready then, in that case. There you go, all better. Impact bomb should kill. Here goes my impact. Or at the bomb. worst, it'll be really close. Yeah, close. Hey, 
might as well Lion's Roll. We're gonna be attacking a lot. I also love this battle line that Merrick's about to do. Go! Dragon Rise! Here now the Lion's Roar! I love that battle line. Also, the animation's really sick. Here goes my impact bomb. I get better off doing this. A thousand. Sky, take flight. Here goes flying ten say Ken. Stop existing. You go for a um, L slash, I guess. crashes this time. I hope not. So now the villagers may be... No, these things are a small change. Nothing like Gadon. The real money's somewhere else. So they were like marionettes. Perhaps their powers may be peculiar, but our true enemy would not meet defeat so easily. It cannot be. Damn it, Valmar must be somewhere. If we're not killing the source, we're just killing time. Okay, so we just got really unlucky. Which I hope never happens. Again. Is this too the work of Valmar? As the seal of Grannis is broken, I'm afraid that's so. Elena, how's Arena doing? Not well. She'll not wake up at all. Just like Nicholas. Rowan, how are the villagers? A few more people fell ill last night, and everyone who did not fall ill, they had nightmares again. They're not the only ones. I've been having nightmares of my past. It's not too cool, man. Not at all. I have one, too. I saw my mother. I dreamt of my village of the demon man who came in blood and fire. I dreamt of ruin. I slept so soundly. Last night, I dreamt not at all. There must be someone possessed by Val Valmar. The one controlling the flying eyeballs. Do you think it's Ira? That cannot be. She's such an innocent girl. Only the hearts of the wicked are open to Valmar. That girl has done nothing wrong. I mean, she probably got possessed by Valmar, which is beyond her control. The High Priestess Selene is conducting an investigation, so she's ordered everyone to meet in the town hall. We ought to inform the High Priestess of the events of yesterday. The villain is not of this village, not even a person. Let's go, Rito. Yeah, before Selene decides to frame someone. Can I save? <laughs> I guess I might have to walk to the save point. See you later, Prunky. Thanks for stopping by. Take them long to round up the town. 
How awful. Such a pitiful sight. We must attend to the purification immediately. We will find the be bedeviled one without delay. You're sniffing up the wrong leg, Priestess. We saw the darkness last night. Flying eyeballs. They should be dealt with first. Flying eyeballs, you say? How droll. Yet the things you saw m may indeed have been servants of Valmar. Yes, and we must search them out. However, they are merely servants. I doubt Valmar would appear in such a form or fashion. Chasing after such whimsical beasts would not solve our problem. Valmar seizes upon the darkness in the heart, not the eye. Are you even listening to a thing we say, or are you too eager to purify the entire town? What the hell is wrong with you? I beg of you, High Priestess, save these villagers. Oh yes, they shall be saved. You see, there is one with a corrupt soul who has brought disaster to this village. What would happen if we were to permit Valmar to roam freely about the land? Could you imagine this, Elena? Yes. Well, then I shall have the cooperation of everyone in the village. I shall discover the identity of the treacherous one. Then we need not purify the entire village. Rito, we cannot let her proceed. You know how this will end. I know, I know. But we have to find out who or what is controlling those eyeballs. I mean, that's just sick. To make people relive their worst memories. Where do you think those eyeballs come from? I advise a deeper hunt into the fissure. It could be our quarry waits. It could be our quarry waits there. And there is... And... And there is where we resume our pursuit. Yeah, I honestly forgot they had you come back to Murumu before continuing the fisher. Look, I've already told you it was Sandra who laid those curses. There could be others too. Hold on there. For what reason would Sandra go around laying curses? She seems like nothing more than a loving mother. Then tell me, why was Sandra able to cure Ira's sickness when the doctor couldn't? It's because she's a witch, that's why. That makes her the villain? Is, is this a village uh, full of simpletons? You should be happy for Ira. We were happy when Ira's eyes were healed. It's just strange how it happened. Why was Sandra able to cure her after the doctor had tried and given up? Explain that then. I had that same dream again the other day. The dream with the eyeball monster. What if Valmar really is coming to get our village? That would be the end of us all. I had that same dream again. Yada yada. Miss. Hello, little Ira. Did you come to see me? Did you want to come play? What do you mean? Let's go to a fun place. To a place where there's no suffering and pain. No bad memories. Ira, should you be out? Will your mother not worry? Oh, it's fine. We're going to a happy place after all. That Ira. There is something a little odd about her. I wonder what it was she meant. One way to find out. Let's follow her. The Marumu Shed. She lives in a shed. Oh, look at that map. It's so cool. So detailed. My mother had a hard time because of me. She would buy medicine and look for herbs, working from dawn until dusk. It's all my fault, but my mother's praying healed me. She just, like, dropped into the hole. Ira. Alright. <laughs> Alley oop. Where are we? I cannot believe this. How convenient that we're right back to where we ended up, where we fought that mini-boss. I don't think people should fight. Everyone just suffers. We can learn to like each other. Why do they always blame other people? Nobody wants to be hated. I'll make it so everybody can get along. I want to help everyone. So, so Ira, you. It's a really nice place. I'm going to have everyone come to the Garden of Dreams. No one will fight. Everyone will live together peacefully. Don't forget all the bad things. Come on. Let's all go into the dream. When I was cured, I was so happy, but I was also sad because I could see some things I couldn't before. My mother also wanted to get along with the villagers, but everyone lies and hates each other now. They keep blaming others for bad things, everyone suffers in their heart. I want everyone to come here and get along. 
This is the Garden of Happiness. Everyone who comes here is happy. They forget the bad memories and suffering. The people all become fairies. And they live happily here. Look, see how many fairies there are now? Isn't everyone happy? Stop it. Why? You're not doing anything wrong, but... I just want to make everyone happy. That eye. This is the eye that Granis gave me. It's how I can see everything. No, stop it. Do not make them suffer anymore. Suffer? I don't make anyone suffer. Everyone's happy here. There's no sadness here. Outside, everyone lies, so they suffer. They pretend to be nice, but they can act. But they act mean. The only one I trust is Mother. Huh? Why are you doing this? Why are you all coming after me? Isn't this the Eye of Grannis? Well, isn't it? Aren't you the same as me, Miss Elena? No. Ira. Mother. Uh, wait. And I wish I could just disappear into the void. Something might be going down at the village. We've got to go back.